everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. I am in Los Angeles and I am really happy to be here, but it is a big, huge city and it is so noisy, so if you hear any background noise, that is what it's at. So in a previous video, I made giant gummy soda bottles. These ones, 500 milliliters. And I asked you guys, what's your favorite kind of pop? And you told me Dr. Pepper, which made me super excited because it's mine too, but I couldn't make the same size, so I went for a two liter giant Dr. Pepper gummy soda bottle. Let's get started on this tutorial. To make our giant Dr. Pepper gummy bottle, we're going to need 28 envelopes of gelatin. If you're buying it in bulk, you need 196 grams. And of course, we're going to be using a real giant Dr. Pepper, which is two liters. None of this 500 milliliter stuff anymore. We've got two liters of the Dr. Pepper. The gelatin's here in the bowl, and what I'm going to do is open my Dr. Pepper bottle, and I'm going to slowly pour in the pop, and it's going to bubble and fizz and do all this sorts of fun stuff here. I'm going to start with a little bit, and what I want to do is try to incorporate the gelatin as much as I can to start with, so you can see it's going to become this like clumpy little mess here, which is exactly what you want to start with because it's gonna help you blend it a little bit better afterwards. So what I'm gonna do is just keep pouring and stirring, pouring and stirring. And then once I've got it all incorporated, I will show you the next step. Once we have the gelatin mixed in, you're going to want to put this into the microwave for about two or three minutes because we want to heat it up to just before boiling and that's going to help the gelatin completely dissolve. Once it's heated up, put it off to the side and we're going to prep the bottle. So we want to keep our label and our lid, so make sure you keep both of those once you've got your bottle emptied. And I'm just going to take a hair dryer and blast the seam where the label meets with some heat to help like loosen the glue up, and then I'm going to peel it off. Okay, so I'm going to start to peel. I saw that little edge there start to move. So I'm just going to peel it, and if you get any resistance, then you can just blast it with some more heat. So right there is a little bit sticky. starting to come easily right there. Here we go, blast a little bit more. I'm just going to actually take my knife right there and just kind of get those two pieces. And a little bit more heat. There we go, now we're released. So you just go all the way around. Might need some more heat at this end. And then gently continue to peel that part off. We need a little bit more. It's a little sticky here. And there we go. So we've got our bottle prepped and ready to go. What we have to do now is nonstick spray the inside. For the nonstick spray, I'm just taking like an olive oil one. You could use any kind though. And I want to spray the inside. Because the Dr. Pepper is quite sugary, or any of the colas are really, you want to make sure that this, this is going to help um, have it come out a little bit easier. So make sure you just get the whole inside coated right down to the bottom. So once we've got the bottle with the nonstick spray, we're going to take a measuring cup and I'm going to put it into my slightly cooled mixture and I'm going to pour it into the bottle until the bottle is completely full and then I'm going to put the lid back on and pop it into the fridge. Now it's going to need about six to eight hours to solidify completely. You can put it in the freezer but then you kind of risk freezing it um, so as long as you've only got it in there for about an hour or two hours and then test it to make sure that it's solid, then um, you could go ahead and use the freezer as well if you want it really quickly. So I'm just going to go keep filling it up all the way to the top and put the lid on. So I have my gummy that is now a solid here and I've got a really sharp knife. Now unlike what I did last time in the previous video, we did like a little bit more, uh, we did some cutting and this time all I'm doing right now is just taking a little tiny slit. I'm going to put the knife into that little slit and then I'm just going to go around here. Now you can do it like we did before, it's no, it's really either one, six, half, six of one, half dozen of another. This one I just felt was a little bit easier because you don't have to do that pre-cutting and you don't have to do the duct taping, so all that sort of thing you kind of get away from. So I'm just working with a really sharp knife and what you want to do is just get enough release of the slack of the bottle that you're going up to the top and it should just peel away. I'm going to take the lid off here too, like that. Make sure you save your lid and then you can press down and it will pop off like that. So see how easy that is? That's helping with the spray. I'm just going to turn it around. 
like that. And then I'm going to work it this way towards the bottom and do the same thing with the release. And it will come out of its little pop bottle cavity. So let's see, moment of, of moment of reveal. Nope, she's not ready to come. So you can also, what helps too is to go around like this again, kind of go around the bottom, take some of that pressure off the bottom. And the more you get rid of, the easier it is to like unpeel it, to release it from the thing. There we go. So that should come away. This should come away and we've got our giant gummy bottle coming out completely. So now you need to get your wrapper back and we're gonna put that on. So our last step is to just wrap the bottle in its wrapper again. Now the gummy is super sticky and so you don't need to use anything extra to get it to stick. You can use like a piece of tape if you want to have the wrapper stay completely on here. But as you can, stay, as you can see, it sticks really nicely. And the same thing with the lid. You just have to pop the lid right on the end and it stays in place perfectly as well. So there you go everybody, how to make a giant Dr. Pepper gummy soda bottle. This thing is huge, it's so much fun to make and it's super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the new tricks that I showed you how to make this bigger one. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment box below so I can, so I can answer you because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys all again next time, bye!